little bit about the, the start of the game. You get in two fouls, and, and they, you guys committed 13 turnovers and they scored 19 points. It kind of put you in the hole there in the first half. Uh, it was just a lot of concentration. You know, I have to be better myself. I put that on me. Um, I just have to be a lot smarter. I can't um, put my team in that kind of position, um, especially in a tough place like this. That's so always tough to play in. Uh, and then with 13 turnovers, that was, again, just like lack of concentration. We have to be dialed in. We have to be sharp with the ball. We have to make our cuts, and we have to be sure of our passes. Uh, I, think, I don't think guys were really doing that. I think we let the crowd get to us. Can you, I guess you talk about the crowd, but can you diagnose maybe some of the reasons why? If it, did, did the turnovers feel like they were kind of compounding on themselves at any point in the first half? You said do the turnovers? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I just think um, when one happened, I think we didn't do a good job of just rallying together and moving on to the next one to make sure it didn't happen again. I just think um, in this type of place, in this type of atmosphere, you can't stack bad plays. I think when you have a bad play, you have to just stop right there, put a period on that uh, sentence right there, and keep on moving forward. Okay, questions for Jerron? Jerron, you had some success going in the middle. You guys were a big part of this last year. You couldn't get it done this year. You were a big success in the middle. You were able to get thing, things done. Well, the only thing, offensive movement in the middle today. How were you able to do that? Um, you know, I just stay in tune to what I do, doing what I do best, and uh, you know, just competing each, each and every time on the court. Um, like Dewan said, we just got to you know focus on the turnovers and get better as a team. Dewan, can you talk a little bit about, about the second half? You guys did outscore them in the second half and played much better than you did in the first half. Just talking about the difference. Just, uh, we just, you know, got it together. We just got to, uh, you know, try to put two halves together. We came out, played was a tougher and harder team, and uh, you know, we just got to lock in. And I feel like if we put two halves together and play the second half, like we did the first half. You know, the game would be a little different. Questions for Al? Al, what did you see in that half, that press that they came out with in the first half, and what was shaking you guys? Say it again. What did you see in that press that they came out with in the first half for the half court trap, and what, what was shaking you guys there? Uh, we just got to have a better concentration, like JMO said, you know, taking care of the ball. We got to take more emphasis on that. JMO obviously said the crowd took you guys out a little bit. A little bit. I mean, do, you guess, do you agree with that? And I guess how? Uh, uh, I mean, the crowd that? did have a, a, part, a partial part of it. I mean, it's a big crowd. This is a tough place to play. I mean, it is what it is. We just got to go back to the drama board and learn from this. What, what do you learn? What, what, just instant reaction. What do you think you can learn from it? Uh, we got to be more sharp, more dialed in. We got to be in tune with the game plan. And we got to come out and play harder for them. How would you like just the team's response from Arkansas? It was your first loss. You had a chance to kind of build off your learn from that. What, what, what was kind of the team response after dealing with you know, that first? Uh, uh, you know, we played game? hard. I feel like we played to the 10 floor. And like Coach Miller says, you know, I feel like we learned from that. We played harder, and I just, you know, I feel like we can learn. Like we learned from that game, like this game. Al, what'd you think of Duke as a whole? What'd you think of Duke as a whole? Is a great team, as you can see, and you know, we just gotta learn from this. Jawan Duran, just how tough is it to play against a guy like Zion Williamson? Oh, uh, it's it's pretty tough, you know. Um, he's just a freak athlete. Uh, he he knows how to get to his spots, as, as all great players do, man. Um, as a defender, I've tried to pride myself on defense, and uh, it's tough to take a guy out of that, especially um, when he has size on you, but it doesn't matter. If it doesn't get done, then it just doesn't get done. And I think, uh, I'll, again, I'll take that on my shoulders for not getting it done on that side of the ball. Well, what's, the, what's the message as a captain, just kind of the team after this one, and just moving forward? Um, you know, we just got to go from top to bottom, uh, evaluate each other, uh, look each other in the eye, and see if we're really playing for each other, if we have that trust and on both sides of the ball. I think um, as we go forward, um, Nobody really, I mean, we'll remember this, but nobody will really remember it as we get closer to March. You know, we just got to play then, and as we uh, get better each and every day, I think, you know, you'll see a better team, okay. a harder fighting team. Juwan, real quick, you, you, said, you, you said you felt where the crowd got to you a little bit. When and how could you tell that? Uh, you could just tell uh, people weren't, we weren't like running to a huddle. Um, I, again, I take that on myself. We weren't really a together group. Some of the times we look kind of uh, disjointed, pointing fingers kind of. But I think as we, um, you know, go through these kind of adversity, uh, it's, that's the time when you have to come together. It's not when you're up by 30 or, you know what I'm saying, in a blowout win. You have to come together when you're down 15 early in the game. That's the time when it really matters. Okay. Next one.